Hello, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com. We're an IT services provider, and today we're going to talk more about Proxmox. I want to show you a quick and easy way to make sure that your Proxmox VMs are backed up. It's very important. You can set a schedule on this and uh, uh, set the number of VMs to get backed up and which VMs get backed up also. Number of copies to keep. So let's get started. Here we go. And boom. So here is my test Proxmox machine. I have uh, this Ubuntu test machine right here. It's connected. Um, it's just a simple little machine. Um, ping google.com. So I'm going to set the pinging going on this and it's just going to ping, ping Google here. What I'm going to do is go over here to data center and pick backup. So we're going to click add. So here you have in the backup, you can select your node. Now I just have one node in this particular one, but you can pick whatever. Select your storage when you want it done, Saturday and Wednesdays at 1 a.m. Selected VMs. Uh, you can do email, email notification only on failure. You can put your email in, blah, 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 whatever you happen to be. I'm not going to do that in this particular case. Mode, I'm going to pick snapshot and I'll do the compression. I pick LZO fast because it's just quick and easy. And if you need to shrink it a little bit more, you can pick GZIP, uh, but it will be slower. So then go ahead and select the VM that you want or multiple VMs. You can go over here and select all, which will gray this out and it'll get all of them. But my particular case, I'm just going to do the one. It's here. Then you just go ahead and click create and you're basically all set up. So the other thing you want to go to do is go into storage. So my main ZFS storage can't do, doesn't do backups, but the local directory that I created does. So you can go and edit that guy and, and select the content types and make sure that you have at least wherever you want to store them. VZ dump backups is set up there. Now, when you do that, when you do that, you're going to have a max backup. I like to set this to however many you want to keep. So let's pick three. If we do it twice, twice a week, three a week, you know, that's going to less than a week. Maybe you want six. Let's go ahead and just change that to six. Boom. And so that'll do that. Now, <clears throat> two ways to do a backup. See, this guy's still pinging. Let's go ahead and kick, click back off and back up now local this is just a manual one and uh, snapshot and click backup now if I go back over here I can close that go over to console and you're gonna see that that still is pinging when down here you're gonna see that thing is still doing this backup so we go ahead and open that up and so you can see in the back boom 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 it did a backup and machine never went down So if we go and we look in our storage, you will see content and you will see VZ backup. Boom, there's one right there. Now the other way you can do, if you want to manually do a backup, you can go over here to the data center and backup, click on the one you want and click run now. It's going to run that job. So you'll see that that's running that job again. Creating the archive. Total backup finished. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit, or I'm going to go back here to that storage location and I'm going to, oops, my bad. I'm going to go to the storage location in here, storage, edit this. I'm going to change this down to back down to three for demonstration purposes. So now if I go and look in there and go to content, you're going to see there's two. I'm going to go ahead and kick off one more backup. Backup now. And it's doing it. Snapshot, boom, 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 and OK. So now you're going to see there are three in this backup. And if you look at these timestamps that are connected on there, um, basically 1735, and then it kind of increments up, up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and this, this oldest one is this, uh, 
14 one here. Now in theory, we'll hit our limit. I'm going to go ahead and hit a backup one more time. And as it goes, oops, I'm here. See, increase the limit or delete old backups. Now, I thought it automatically reduced this. So let's just go ahead and kick off this backup here and see what happens. Yep, see that backup job successfully. Now what happens is when you go to there, you're to see that that one is missing now. So if if you're running the job, it will it will do a cleanup, and that's all all you have to worry about. If you if you run on from from here, you might run into an issue. Um, so. Normally during the backup process and a schedule process, it will just clean up when it it's, hits the max, it will clean up the old one and put your new one in. So everything works out great. Um, and that's, that's all I have for you today. It's been another Proxmox tutorial. Thanks.